Hey, so UPS just dropped off the latest iPad Pro. So let's go, let's go get it out of the box. Pa, there we go. Okay, so let's get this thing opened up and just see how cool it is. UPS was only two and a half hours late today. Hooray. Now we haven't checked out an iPad Pro here on the channel in a very long time, mainly because uh, there hasn't been a new iPad Pro in a really long time. So this is the 13 inch version, not 12.9, we're not talking 12 point, we're talking the whole. You get the extra 0.1 inch uh, this time around for a significant amount of money. So you can see the version we got here, 256 gigabytes, the cheapest version. As I'm making this video, I'm not sure how clickbaity I'm gonna be about the title, but we have the 256 gigabyte iPad Pro 13 inch with the M4 processor Wi-Fi. M4, that's only got an M3. We'll just throw away that computer because iPads, what's a computer, right? Okay, so let's crack this thing open and see what we actually get. Ready? Three, hold on, we gotta, you gotta hear this. Three, two, one. Oh, that's good. That's good. Remember when it used to just be plastic? That sucked. Now we got, mm, that's pretty good. Okay, ready, get set. Ah, that is, I'm gonna be honest with you, that's a pretty giant, that's a pretty giant slab of glass, uh, but we'll check that out in just a second. Inside of the box, yeah, this is the 20 watt standard charger. Uh, you get that, you get the USB-C to USB-C cable. So it is nice that even though on the iPhone, like Pro Max, even though that is pretty darn, pretty darn expensive as well, it doesn't come with a charger. So thankfully, you still get a charger with the iPad, but that's pretty much, uh, that's all you get. What else do you get? Uh, you get the iPad Pro that just says, welcome to iPad Pro, thank you. Um, some basic controls, tips. Oh, hey, the tip is check out tips app. Thanks, Apple. Send me somewhere else for tips. And then some regulatory information, and that's it. No stickers, no anything. You get this little thing, and it's got nothing in it. If you're only giving us this, you're giving us a piece of paper that tells you to push a power button and says to check out a tips app to get tips. Maybe it's time to stop. If we're trying to save the environment, uh, this seems awfully wasteful to me. Let's check out the iPad itself. I love, ooh, I love that. That is, I'm assuming that is causing the autofocus up here to go crazy, so let's. That is gorgeous. Now I have loved the silver look on iPads since the last iPad Pro, I think, and it just looks, so good. The new camera bump, I really like it. It's just, it's more like minimal. Like I hate when they put like these big camera arrays in the back of the iPad and then you get the people at the school events like recording video or big things with the iPad and blocking everybody's view. We could even just remove this. Just remove this entirely. So the build quality, I mean, this is a very thin. Can you see how thin that is here? Check this out. This is the Magic Keyboard, which is one of the thinnest things that I've owned from Apple in a long time. So how does it compare? Like. Even at the thinnest, this the iPad is darn near as thin as the Magic Keyboard, the small version, like at its thinnest. That is an incredible technical feat to be able to put uh, that much computing power, that big of a screen uh, in that thin of a device. It is very lightweight. The buttons feel good, but they feel very muted. You're not even gonna be able to hear this. Man, they feel so good to press though. We got the USB-C on the bottom, big speakers. We got the connector here, very nice. I mean, I guess I am kind of like, I don't wanna, I've never had build problems with uh, an iPad or a MacBook before, but this is so thin, it makes me kind of nervous about how thin it is, but it does, it, it feels so thin that it feels futuristic almost. Okay, enough jabbering about it. Let's actually turn it on. All right, Apple. One of the big things that I'm excited about, and we'll check here in just a second is, you probably can't see this from the camera, but I can very easily notice that the camera is no longer at the top vertically, it's at the top horizontally, which is just where it should be from here on out. Because if you're having a virtual meeting or anything, when are you ever like, hello everybody? You're always horizontal, so it's nice to have the camera in the right spot now. English, United States, appearance. What do we got, medium, large? I don't need, I can still kind of see. What about small? Ooh, my eyes are not good enough for small, I don't think. So we'll do quick start. We'll set up the iPad with my iPhone. The screen, as this is all setting up, it looks, I mean, it should look good. They said this is one of the best screens they've ever made. 
And all we can really mess around with right now is the viewing angle. And that viewing angle is pretty impressive. Like you can still see it even at very extreme angles. Um, and not just can you see it, but it still looks real good. I'm excited to really put this thing through its paces. The problem being, as we talked when the, I bought this video, uh, how many paces can you put an iPad through? iPads are supposed to be this like bridge device between iPhone and MacBook, but the iPhone's a better like portable device and the MacBook's the better computers. I don't yet understand what we're going to be doing with the iPad anymore. It almost feels like, and I am a believer, like I really think that we're just at the cusp. We're almost at the tipping point where mobile devices like phones and tablets are gonna replace regular computers. Like for most people, they already have. It's companies finally letting their computers go and finally putting like actual useful operating systems in different modes of the tablet. Kind of how we saw with Samsung DeX, I'm pointing to one of my Samsung tablets. We see with Samsung DeX on a tablet, you can set it into DeX mode and it turns into like a little Chromebook or you can plug it into a big monitor and you are set up kind of like a home computer. I understand that Apple wants you to buy both an iPad and a MacBook. I get that. But if we could let go of the MacBook, because we've got all the power, we've got the M4. I bet you this thing is more powerful than some of the computers I own, but it's just like in service of what? I think all phones should have something like this. This is the Samsung like Dex dock. It's got all the inputs you could want. Maybe we could put a display port on here, but all you do is you set your Galaxy phone in here and you turn on Dex on like a computer. I think if we could get like Bluetooth functionality in here and you set every phone just sets down in there and now you've got a full blown operating system, that's the future, right? Like these have so much power. Why are we still buying these gigantic bricks when you don't need that to pay bills or you don't need that to take notes or update spreadsheets? The only reason those things still exist are for very niche power users that are doing specific applications or gaming or, you know, companies just trying to sell extra stuff. So. That was my, wow, how long have I been on that rant? We may or may not edit that rant out because it's, uh, it's frustrating. Like it's so, it's so frustrating to see what the future looks like and just be held back from it because companies are trying to still sell other products, right? Like that's, that's not, and that's not just Apple. That's everybody, right? Camera companies hold back features. Phone companies hold back features. Game companies hold back features, right? Everybody holds back features to continue selling more stuff. So it's like we have the ability to have the future now. We just we just won't get there until somebody has to blink first. Okay, make this thing my new iPad, continue. No, I don't want to restore from iCloud. This is gonna take forever. Oh, or one minute. While we're waiting, these braided cables, I love talking about braided cables. Uh, it is very nice. I love. If you're gonna spend a ridiculous amount of money on a piece of tech, you might as well get uh, some nice additive components with it. And that is pretty nice. Okay, I think we're restarting. I already see like, screen's already pretty smudged up. It is a touch screen though, so that's to be expected. One thing I do kind of wish, having just made a whole video and really gotten back hands on with the S24 Ultra, uh, I really wish they put some of that same screen glare technology into this screen. Uh, can you see the glare? That glare is aggressive. Like all I see right now is my ceiling because of the glare. Um, and I get it, there's a matte textured, like nano textured screen you could get, but then you gotta buy like the one terabyte model and that's just wild to me. Oh, that is so, it's just, I don't know. It's almost like, I like it, right? I like the size of this screen, but it's almost like just obnoxiously big for a tablet. Like what? Like, how am I gonna use this? Like, it's bigger than my actual notebook that I write with. Uh, man, it's gigantic. It's a beautiful screen though. Very fast, very fluid. Let's check the camera. Like, they put the camera up here, but did they make it look actually good? Let's, pr let's pretend, ooh, HD, nobody wants HD, 4K. Okay, let's pretend we're one of those folks at the event, and how am I gonna do this without touching the screen? Okay. <laughs> okay, there is the main camera of the iPad Pro. If you wanna be somebody that just sits in the very front row of your kid's band performance, here you go. This is what the image quality would look like. Uh, I can't actually see anything because it's so big. 
it's blocking my normal camera. So hopefully uh, this looks pretty good. It's pretty funny though. Um, don't do this. Don't be, th don't be that person. Let's check the actual important camera, the front facing one. Ooh, okay, hold on. 720p or HD, what? So your options are HD or 720p? Wow, Apple, thank you, you're, you're too good to me. Okay, so this is the standard mode and that is pretty tight. Like if you're gonna use this for video conferencing, I guess for video conferencing, who cares, right? Um, but I do like that the camera is horizontally on the top. Yes, if you're looking at the screen to check notes or whatever, if you're on a Teams meeting, it's still not gonna look as good as you like looking at the camera, but at least it's not like looking up your nose. This is at least more flattering uh, for you. It is a little bit tight, so if you're trying to do like a conference around the room, it's not as good, but check this out. This goes super wide. Like you see my microphone now, you see the monitor for the recording station I don't even use anymore. You see all my backpacking gear? Look at all that stuff. I need to go backpacking again. I just went like last weekend and it's amazing. Look at all that stuff. But it's so wide. This is perfect. You set this at the head of a table and then you can get everybody around you. Uh, I really like, I really like how wide this is. But I bet this has that follow feature too. So if it's just you, the camera will follow you around, which is pretty nice. But I like how wide this is here on the screen. This doesn't look too bad. The colors look pretty good, but we'll have to see how it looks once we get it into the editing system. We got a bonus unboxing today. Here's the Apple Pencil Pro. Now I did also get the keyboard, but we're gonna give the keyboard a dedicated video because I really like these keyboards and I have a lot to talk about for how expensive of a tech device that is. But the pencil, uh, whatever. I'm, I'm not a drawer, I'm not a designer. I'm also not somebody that can apparently open boxes. That's not getting returned. Ooh, I do like this box, Apple Pencil Pro. Okay, that is real nice. Here we go, another two for one unboxing. That was real good too. I'm very, the Apple Pencil Pro has the best packaging thus far. Here's the pencil. What comes with the pencil? Pencil, you get more documentation and more information with the pencil than you do for the iPad. Like, look at all this. You barely got anything with the iPad. So the Pencil Pro is supposed to be even fancier. Squeeze capability. Snap. It is pairing. Continue. Try squeeze. Okay. Oh, that's pretty neat. This is a solid object, right? It's not, there's no actual bending happening, but it's got just enough of a haptic feedback that it feels like you're squeezing it. That's pretty, that's pretty darn neat. Two, three. Hey, almost. I mean, my handwriting is pretty bad, so. And then you just scratch it out to delete it. That's pretty nice. I like that. Uh, we won't add that to Find My right now. I wonder if it'll take pictures. Uh, S Pen does. No pictures. Maybe there's a setting or something I can do um, for that. That would have been cool. Okay, so you can just set it to a pen. And then for this pen, hey everyone that's pretty cool apple pencil pro check it out we'll have to again we'll try all this stuff we'll test out a whole bunch of things let me know in the comments below what you would like to see out of the brand new ipad pro the apple pencil pro and the keyboard when we finally open it up tomorrow and if you like this video click here to see why i bought the cheapest version click 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 thanks for watching